Hey guys, this is Imran from AllAboutAndroids.com and today I'll be showing you how to root the TF300 by ASUS. This tablet just got recently released and there's already a root method. As of right now, there's no development options, but as long as you have root, you can do plenty of things. Now, before you actually do attempt to root this tablet, please make sure that you have the .17 firmware. So hit uh, About Tablet in your settings, go all the way down to Build Number, and make sure you have .17. I've already updated mine, but please make sure that you have .17 before you attempt this. If you do have .26 or .29, do not run this method it will break your device so do not try this method if you have a future version I will give you guys a link in the description it will show you how to downgrade the firmware okay and um, it's in nice detail and the developers open up to questions so you can just send him an, uh, send him a message and he'll definitely help you out if ever you are stuck somewhere so if you are on point 17 firmware which should be as soon as you boot up you should be on point 17 do not sign into Google do not uh, load up Wi-Fi because as soon as you do it will download the firmware and keep on prompting you to update and you can only postpone it three times so trust me you do not want that to force you to update then you'll have to do the downgrade process by yourself so if you have point 17 this is a pretty simple method it's a bit tricky sometimes but it is a pretty straightforward method okay make sure that you go to security and enable unknown sources okay that will allow you to install a needed app to boot your device now the, uh, the app that we used is called sparky root it's available on X XDA and I'll be posting a link in the description so that's the app make sure you have unknown sources install it and turn it on once you've opened up the app, you will not see these three check marks and at the top it will say exploit file not found, okay? So the process is pretty simple. You run steps one, two, three, four. And then you do a reboot and you should be having root on your device. Okay, so hit exploit first. It will give the exploit success. It found the exploit in the device. Now if it does not show you exploit success, run the step two first and then you run step one again all right so for me it actually took about six tries before it found the exploit so i tried it tried it did a reboot tried step two and then step one and then boom it found it i was able to get the exploit next we move on to open app backup this is an asus tool it allows you to back up data and apps but if you listen to the first part we said do not log into google do not um, connect to wi-fi you want to have any apps except the stock ASUS apps which will not get wiped if you do update the firmware so that's fine you can skip that step if you want but if you have already played around with some apps that come in stock go ahead back it up that's no issue at all hit step number three it will prompt you to install super user which is what we need I've already installed this so I'm just gonna cancel that but just install it go next next okay and there you go you have installed super user on your device Lastly, we hit cleanup. It deletes all the temp files and all the um, excess data while they were setting up root, the root system on your device. Uh, as of right now, you will not see it in the app drawer, so just reboot your tablet. It will be there. Now, the issue is once you do get the firmware and you update, you do lose root, which you don't want to happen. So you get another app called Voodoo OTA Root Keeper. This is available on the Play Store. I'll also keep a link in the description. Download that app. And um, as you can see, the, these are these check marks right here. That means it has been successful for me. Um, you'll have an option to protect root slash backup root. I'm not, I forgot the wording exactly, but I believe it is prote uh, protect root. Once you protect uh, root, you can easily connect to Wi-Fi now, log into Google, do whatever you need, and hit ASUS uh, firmware update. You hit that, it might take about 10 minutes or so to process and flash the firmware. And once you do boot back in, you will be on 0.26 like I've shown you before. So go back and 0.26, where are you? Uh, there we go, 0 0.26, 9, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.26, okay? You will be on that firmware. You will not see the uh, root in the app drawer. So all you got to do, go back to Voodoo and hit restore root. Once you restore root, do a reboot on your tablet. And once you go back you will have super user also don't forget to update super user so okay I've done that already Let's just go back 
hit uh, settings right here, go all the way down, SU binary, and update your super user. So once you've done that, you will have the latest ASUS firmware, okay? And of course, all the added uh, features that come with that latest version. So you get face unlock and a bunch of bug fixes. And you'll have root. Uh, quick thing that you can do straight up uh, when you have root, I have Antutu CPU master right here. And you can actually overclock this uh, processor all the way to 1.5 gigahertz. That is literally the Transformer Prime's processing speed okay so you can actually overclock it all the way to 1.5 which is a lot trust me you wouldn't even need so much power so I just leave it back at 1.2 um, also since I'm already on the tablet I'll be showing you guys a quick uh, battery life I've used it average amount so I did some browsing watched um, about a 20 minute show uh, and of course whenever it's on I have my Wi-Fi connected I did use GPS for a few minutes not too much but as a whole, it does some crazy amount of work and like with the keyboard, of course, I've hit about 17 hours and 8 minutes as of right now and it's still 66% um, on the tablet itself. My, my keyboard should be having about 40%. So um, it's really great on battery life. Um, I love the screen. I'm not too sure what people uh, are saying. 350 nits, not as bright. Of course, 600 nits from the Transformer Prime is great, but 350 is perfect for me. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. I hope you like it. Please do comment, like, and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. We also have a Facebook page, a Google Plus account, and a Twitter.